in this budget which is february 2022 budget that we had come up with this uh, 30% tax on income earned out of these transactions we don't recognize those which are outside of the central bank the central bank has yet to come up with a digital currency that was part of my announcement in the budget uh, and that uh, will happen sometime in 22 23 the financial year ending march 23 but in the meanwhile we have noticed and of course as as you rightly said we are not sure about the veracity of the data which says the volume is this much or that much uh, those numbers are questionable but i wouldn't get into uh, arguing about the number at this stage but uh, we did realize there's a lot of uh, things happening about transacting those assets the crypto assets which we don't recognize as currency because currency is that which is backed by a bank the central bank of the country or the government of that country so that is yet to happen in our country and it is going to happen sometime this year but because the volumes of such transactions outside of this was fairly huge we also wanted to be sure that and since there was no regulatory mechanism looking at them we wanted to make sure money is being or value of assets being transacted if they are transacted in an unregulated environment we were not sure if the let us say uh, the fatfs uh, money trail uh, as they say travel route travel line is being tracked at all and we were not even sure as to um, how we can keep uh, a, a trail following of these transactions which were happening after all these were uh, electronic codes eventually so we wanted to be sure and therefore we did announce that on the income that is generated out of the transactions of these crypto assets will be taxed at 30% and over and above that there is a 1% tax deduction at source which is also imposed on every transaction so through that we'll be able to know who's buying and who's selling it mm -hmm. and that 1% is not an additional tax over the 30% that i've imposed it is only reconcilable with the 30 or with any other tax the person uh, is uh, expected to pay essentially by taxing we were trying to make sure that we are keeping a trail mm -hmm. and also making sure these are going to be eventually Uh, compliant with anti money laundering rules mm -hmm. and making sure that these kind of operations don't end up inadvertently to funding any kind of terror activities so we wanted to be sure when there was no regulation happening mm -hmm. these activities which were becoming now fairly extensive are kept an eye on and there should be a financial implication on them and therefore the tax it wasn't as if we have uh, legitimized them we haven't said that this is currency we haven't said that this has intrinsic value but certain operations are taxable for the sovereign and that is why we've done this so as long as the non governmental activity of the crypto assets are through the uh, unhosted wallets regulation is going to be very difficult but cross border payments will become very effective yes if through the central bank uh, driven currencies and even then uh, efficiency transparency and also better management of uh, uh, you know large uh, uh, payments which are being done between countries all that is taken care of but even then i would think we have now come to a stage i agree with the uh, central bank chief of uh, brazil that two years ago the kind of uh, protocols which prevailed are very different from what it is today today is being much better but even with all this said unless there is going to be a global approach at regulating and also an understanding of the technology even as it keeps evolving to be on the top of things and to have technology driven solutions to regulate and monitor not so much to interfere but of course to keep an eye that your anti money laundering i harp on that very much because i think the biggest risk for all countries across the board 
will be on the money laundering aspect and also on the aspect of currency being used for financing terror. So it is in these two, otherwise I do not see a reason why innovation such as this in fintech um, uh, whose fountainhead or whose source itself is to bypass many of the regulatory. Innovation is always disruptive. I do not look at it as negative feature. It is a right feature, innovation is disruptive. But on an essential thing of asset or valuation which might be monetized for funding other activities which are not so savory, I think regulation using technology is the only answer. But regulation using technology will have to be so adept and so nimble that it has to not be behind the curve but be sure that it is on the top of it. And that is not possible if any one country thinks that it can handle it. It has to be across the board and I am sure Kristalina really is on it already. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.